these narcissists, fine monkeys and enablers, get together and they have a good old time laughing about the pain that they're causing other people. Because it ain't no fun if the homies can't get none. So they collectively share your negative supply. See, when this toxic clique gets together, they're in each other's faces key keying, laughing about the times that they call somebody to break down emotionally. They're excited that they bullied somebody on a job to the point that they quit or they got them fired. They're reminiscing about the times that they beat somebody till they were bruised and bloody. Now there's varying degrees to this abuse. A narc may be putting hands on you or they may just be stealing from you, whether it be your time or your money. But as they're love bombing you, they're venting you to figure out what works best. They know some people have a knuck if you buck mentality. And if they put hands on them, it's rock em, sock em robots on site. But they also know that person's weakness. If they don't know about emotional abuse, then that's what they'll choose. And then furthermore, if they don't know chronic cheating is a form of emotional abuse, then that's what they'll do to that person. And the effects that that abuse has on you is the term, the negative supply. And it's so potent that they can share it. That's why they get together like that. Think about a time you got in a serious heated argument with them. And the first thing they did was they went to that bestie or they went to that friend to go talk. They wasn't talking about how they was gonna repair the relationship. They were talking about the down and dirty things they did to you and the effects it had on you afterwards. But that's not even the worst part about it. These folks will use each other to help with the abuse in their smear campaign. Their buddy narc is gonna have the alibi for when they're creeping out. They're gonna be the ones in the courtroom falsely testifying against you. And the crazy part about it is they don't even like each other. They're in a silent competition every time they meet. So much so that if one of them tells a particularly heinous story that captivates their toxic crowd, you're not gonna take offense. They don't wanna be outdone. So they gotta go back home to you, do something even worse, so they have a better story to tell the next time they get together. You can't make it make sense. It's just toxic on top of toxic. And I don't know about you, but I'm done entertaining the peanut gallery. So y'all be careful out there, because these knocks are here knocking. Until next time, peace.